guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn from the Laws of Attraction in Action. And that's the Laws of Attraction in Action.com and the Laws of Attraction in Action on the Facebook group. You can find me on the face Facebook group. Well, guys, welcome to the second episode. And today we're talking about the power of choosing. And as you may have heard in episode one. I was talking about the universal laws of attraction and making the point guys that it is the universal laws plural and not the universal law and as we grow together and move together I'm going to be talking about all these different laws that assist and can assist and support you in consciously manifesting what it is that you say that you want in life you see it's so vitally important that you are able to consciously, consciously manifest what it is that you say that you want in life. Again, I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn and we are talking about the power of choosing. And guys, choice is everything. Choice is absolutely everything. And many people don't actually realize that um, that choosing is something that they do consciously and unconsciously. Many people don't realize that they 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 truly don't realize that you know they they are choosing their lives based on the things based on let me phrase it this way based on the desires of their heart. They are choosing, they are choosing their lives. And many people, many people don't understand that. Many people feel that, um, as their life manifests or as they look at their macrosphere, and this is one of the things guys, as you look at your macrosphere, as you look at your life, and this is whether we're talking about health, whether we're talking about wealth, whether we're talking about relationships, as you actually look at your life around you whether it's falling down or it's building up, understand that this is based on choices that you have made. Now, making a choice doesn't mean that you're always consciously aware of it. And it's vitally important that you understand that. This is one of the nuances that I think that people don't don't quite, uh, they don't get it. Being consciously aware of the choices that you make have absolutely nothing to do with what's manifesting in your life. Now, many people would will say, no, 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 no. It's all about being consciously aware of, of the choices that you are making. And guys, I, 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 I'm, I'm here to tell you that's not true because this is why things can manifest in your life and they do manifest in your life. And all you sort of say to yourself is, oh my God, how did I get here? I don't understand how I got here. I don't understand what's wrong. I don't understand why this is happening to me this way. I just don't understand. I haven't done this. I didn't do this. I didn't do that. And and the, the these this is the type of conversation that you that you'll have going on inside your head. And the name of the game is guys you did do this. You did do this. You see one of the things that um they say, you know, that God, the universal creator or whomever your chosen deity is actually knows what the desires of your heart is or the desires of your heart are so guys it's vitally important that you know what the desires of your heart really are at a conscious level it's important to know what you want at that deep core rooted level that subconscious level because the thing that you say is the desire of your heart whether you know it consciously or not is the thing that is going to be manifested for you it's the thing that's going to come into your life it's the thing that's going to be a part of of your reality and your external reality so choice what is it what is choice choice my guys it's about you making a selection choice is about you 
um, making a decision for self. And I always say this, that is in the best interest of self. Choice is an act of choosing and an act of choosing is a selection. And a selection literally means that you need to have options to choose from. You need to have options, or at least you need to see yourself having options to choose from. Now, many people think that, you know, I, I don't have a choice. Yes, you do. You know, the, 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 the person who says they got a gun to your head and they're going to kill you, you have a choice. You can do whatever you need to do and or you can say, it. go ahead, you know, do, do what you need to do. You know, in a, in a relationship, you can choose to stay or you can choose to go. You, you, there's no such thing as, you know, I had no choice. There is always a choice. The name of the game is the options that are there might not be attractive to you. The options that are there might not be the things that you want. The options there might tell you, hey, look, you know, I make this choice here and I'm going into a, a, spa a place or space where there is no coming back. Choice is also about you carefully, carefully selecting what is in the best interest of self. This is why the universal law of choice, I call this the first law in the universal laws of attraction. I call this the first law within the universal laws of attraction. And the universal law of choice is all about you, is all about you making an informed decision about what it is that you want. Everything in life that you do is predicated and built upon the choices that you make. Don't get it twisted, guys. Don't get it twisted. Everything that you do in life is predicated, is based upon the choices that you make. So if you do not like the life that you are living, if you don't like what's going on for you, then make a different choice. Now, backtracking a little bit, many people will say that, you know, they, 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 um, they don't feel that they have a choice. You know, it's my family. It's my mom. It's my dad. It's my husband. It's my job. It's this, it's that people will always tell me this. And what I would say to them is, yes, you do have a choice. If you find yourself, um, feeling like you're being backed into a corner, whatever it is, wh whatever the relationship is, whatever is going on. And you find yourself feeling like you're being backed into a corner guys. And you feel like you don't have a choice. That's the time to actually look within self and truly try to figure out what it is that you are truly wanting. You see, many times what we will do as the nature of who we are, we will create situations with people, places and things where we are backed into a corner and where we do come out, we come out swinging. And we do that primarily because one, most people truly have difficulty in articulating what they want with the ones that they love primarily because we don't want to be um, ostracized. We don't want to be booted to the curb. We don't want to be rejected. You see, we're, we're, we're social creatures, even in the hereafter or even prior to incarnation, we are social, we are social creatures. We live in soul clusters. We understand that. And so therefore, when we're going to say something that goes against the grain and we know that um, perhaps this body might not like it or that body might not like it, in order for us not to be, again, booted to the curb, in order for us not to be ignored, in order for us not to Mm, feel that we are hurting somebody. We choose not to say anything. 
And that choice, as a result, on the external plane for us, builds things like resentment. But you see, on the internal plane, the thing that you want is going to come to the surface. And as I started out by saying before, that it is God, known to me as God, or whomever your chosen deity is, it is God's good pleasure to assist you with manifesting the desires of your heart. You see, choice runs in tandem with free will. And I'm not going to talk too much about free will, which runs in tandem or it runs jointly, parallel with free will and of course belief and faith. You see, all of these are universal laws. And somewhere along the line, somebody's taken all of this, all these laws and literally clumped them all together and, and said, you know, it, it's, it's the universal law. This is why, guys, I am so adamant that people understand that it is the universal laws. And backtracking to where we are, the universal law of choice is all about you making choices in the best interest of self. It's all about you making your life happen and realizing that it is you who who is the person who's making your life happen and realizing how powerful you are, how powerful you are and the power that is within your life comes from your ability to choose your life. The universal law of choice is by far one of the most important laws I feel that are out there. You see, because if there is no choice, there is no life for you. And I've had these discussions with people where they say to me, well, you know, Dr. D, I, I actually think you're wrong. I think you're wrong. I think that um, love, the universal law of love is the most important, important law that's out there. Love, the universal law of love is transformative. It transmutes things. It changes things. However, you need to know where it is that you are going to choose to place this energy. You need to know where it is that you are going to choose to place this energy. You have to know this. Because if you don't know this, it means nothing. Nothing's going to happen. Nothing happens in your life save you make a choice. And understand me clearly when I say that when you choose not to make a choice, you've made a choice. When you have chosen not to make a choice, you, you, you've you made a choice. You know, that's, that's like people, you'll say, well, what do you think of so-and-so? Oh, well, I don't know. What you're saying is you don't want to tell. Because you know, everybody knows. How can you not know? Now, whether you want to exercise your right to, to um, you know, to share an opinion, that's totally different. Whether you want to exercise that right to share an opinion, that is a choice. You know, do, 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 do you want to stay with me or, or do you want to go here or do you want to go there? When you say, I don't know, when you say, I don't know, that means no. Until such time when the question has been posed to you, whether the question needs a yes or no, until such time that you've heard the yes or no, it, it effectively means no and or depending on the situation, it means yes. Our language is truly an easy language. The power of the spoken word has been created so that we, us humans, with 21 consonants and five vowels, 26 letters in our alphabet, that we are able to communicate what we have going on inside so that we can come to an understanding of the things that we say that we want so that we are able to um, 
experience belief at that deep level because you see anything that you choose for self that comes to fruition anything that you choose for self that comes to fruition that has been manifested anything that you choose belief is the rocket fuel behind that if you don't have that emotional push behind it that is that comes from belief it's not gonna happen you see the things that you choose you need to believe in if you do not believe in the things that you choose guys it's not happening for you and that's bottom line so this is where I'm going this is what I'm I'm here to talk about today basically is this your life is built one choice at a time whether or not you are consciously aware of the choices that you are making your life is built with choice and only you can choose for self contrary to what people believe nobody can make you do anything absolutely nobody you see if it was that easy when we make our transitions and having had a near-death experience I speak from that standpoint okay if it was that easy having made a having made your you know when we make our transition we would not be held accountable or we would not hold ourselves accountable for anything that we did it's so easy to, to play the blame game you know well he made me do it she made me do it they made me do it and so it's so easy to play that accountability game you know where you don't hold yourself accountable but I'm here to tell you you get to make a choice for self and for those who are biblically inclined for those of you who read scripture it says that Christ can only intercede for you up until a point and that reason is because you have made choices for self you have made choices for self so guys the universal law of choice is the first law within the universal laws of attraction start looking around your life and I and when I say looking around your life just look at what's going on in your life and with as as much as possible step back without applying any emotion to it and look at what's happening in your life and you will be able to connect the dots to see the choices that you have made that have that has created where you are at now i will say this i am not condoning anything that has happened to anybody not to your person absolutely nothing that has happened to your person to your family anything heinous that has happened but what I would say to you is this what choices did you make that put you in the crosshairs of where you found yourself this isn't a blame game because the blame game does nothing it just it just moves energy around that can be used for something else but what choices did you make that placed you in the crosshairs of where you find yourself and again I'm not condoning anything that's been perpetrated against you against members of your family against you know your your your, your loved ones your your your, your church members you know your, your race your what I'm not, that's not where I'm going that's not where I'm going so guys choice is about you having options to select to select from what actually free will is giving yourself permission to exercise your right to choose so that you can create the life that you want to live so for me choice is the first in the universal laws of attraction and God knows with everything that we do as Florence Scrovel Shin says with everything that we do we are creating we are creating laws for us every time we open our mouths and speak and for everything that we we are thinking we are creating laws 
for ourselves. So guys, I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn. Check me out on the laws of attraction in action.com. Please, I encourage you to join the Facebook group. And as we move forward with this, there are going to be things that you can definitely download from the group already. And, uh, you know, like things to work on. I, I don't know if I said this last week, but in June, I did a whole program on forgiveness. You know, the universal laws of law of forgiveness. I mean, guys, if you don't forgive self, how can you forgive somebody else? You know, people are always like, no, you have to forgive them. Well, if you don't know what it feels like to forgive yourself, how can you forgive somebody else? You can't do something that you don't know. So anyway, guys, I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn. Again, think about your life. Your life is created one choice at a time. So with full conscious awareness, choose the life that you want to live with the power of your conscious awareness of choice. So with that being said, I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn. Thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, and episode three, as I was talking about forgiveness and in that vein, I think episode three, which will be coming to you fast and furious, we're going to talk about forgiveness. Until next next time, I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn. <laughs>